So we've got here a Indesit IWD126, that's the Integrated Washer Dryer. Um, and I think the 6 relates to the uh, 6 kilos of washing capacity it's got. I've had this washer for a while um, and it's been okay up till now but it's just last night stopped um, actually rotating the drum. So there's only a few things it can be in relation to that. So it can be the, the control board which is behind this section here. It can be the... Um, the drum not rotating because it's jammed. It can be the fact that the motor's rotating but the um, the drum itself is not rotating because the belt's gone. Um, or it could be that the motor's not kicking off because either the capacitor has failed, which uh, covers the initial kick um, that's required to get the motor spinning um, or it could be that the brushes are, have gone duff because you know they've just worn out so I'm going to cover a few of those little things but the first thing I'm going to do is really just have a listen to the the noise that the so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to try and just run a I'll switch it on to see what uh, what a, what occurs right so we've got a I've got a flashing door lock which indicates that the the door's the door's not locked. What I'm going to do is try and run a drain cycle on it. Now I know the drain cycle and the fill cycle works okay, but I just want to demonstrate the sort of noises you listen you're hearing. Now what I'm also going to do after having run the um, short drain cycle, I'm going to run a spin cycle because we know that the drum is not rotating. It rotates if we try to actually rotate it but it doesn't, it doesn't do any spinning so it doesn't do any movement. So we can, we can rotate the drum by hand and I'll just show you that. That is actually quite clearly able to happen. And when we rotate it by hand, we don't hear any sort of weird noises indicating that the, the belt's fallen off the motor or anything like that. And the other thing that's quite telling is that um, you can't hear the motor spinning when you try to do things like a short, um, short rinse cycle or something like that. So I'll do a spin and we'll see whether anything happens, which of course it won't. It's a little bit of a drain triggered. You should hear the point where the, the machine tr starts to try and fire off. Normally it would be trying to rotate the drum as well. You can hear the relay triggering. But as for the rotation of the drum, nothing. So that's related to a motor issue, effectively. So it's not a problem with the motor windings because as we've rotated the drum, that would rotate the motor to a different part of the 
of the uh, of the windings so it's not suddenly that it'll kick into life but it's failing to start on occasion we can hear the relays going which gives the impression that the the logic board's okay it's just trying to trigger the relay but you know nothing uh, or trying to trigger the motor but nothing's happening so to me that kind of leads me to kind of think that right so this is what knackered brushes look like there's virtually no There's a bit of spring on them, and there's obviously some brush left, but uh, there's not very, they're all clagged up inside. So what I'll do is uh, I'll get all the details off these. Um, it'll be the same with the other side. You'll probably see. Yeah, they're absolutely coated. So these things are not really going to be making decent contact or anything. They've pretty much reached the end of their travel essentially. Um, I'll stretch, it, stretch them out a little bit but ultimately they're pretty much end of life. Um, so the important thing now is to try and find some replacement units and see if I can uh, swap them out. What should be the case is now I've, uh, I'll give them a bit of a squirt of contact cleaner and whatnot, um, and hopefully it'll free everything off. I'll also clean the commutator. Um, it's one of the problems of uh, of brushed motors, really. To be quite honest with you, um, they get cacked up, and eventually, with a lot of use, the brushes wear down. It's what they they're always going to do that. So um, we'll give it a try, see whether that's um, that's. What so I have done a quick check with the multimeter, but essentially what I'm looking for is to check between the face of the brush and the connector at the back. So what might be the case is that, um, so we've got a resistance there, a little small resistance, but it is it's consistent and we're seeing you know, a couple of ohms or something so it's not too bad effectively what's inside these is you've got your brush and then connected to the back of the brush or molded into the brush is a little bit of um, like braid and then there's a spring inside which keeps the the brush against the commutator um, and then the other end of the braids attached to the this lug here so effectively if you uh, if you lose that braid, the connection, the braid connection, it won't work. But I think the issue with this is that um, the brushes weren't making good contact. Um, just moving it round. Um, I've also reached through and cleaned this, uh, which is the uh, the commutator, and you can see, just looking at this, just exactly how dirty it was. So I'll probably maybe do a little bit more. I might just runner so this is what the commutator looks like after having cleaned up it's a little bit cleaner isn't it that it's not covered in black and obviously as I'm running it more and more I'm getting cleaner and cleaner rags coming off it so it's just about really cleaning this up but we don't know if any of this will work and So as they say in the Haynes manual, um, replacement is the uh, is the reverse of removal. So this thing's got four lugs that it slides onto. Very very straightforward. One two three four. That's in place now. And then there's just the earth and the motor loom to connect up. And then I'll put the belt on. Um, but I put the belt on less because I don't want to be playing about with something that's under tension. Um, it's just not going to be very, uh, very easy to put it back on. OK, 
Okay. Moment of truth. Will it blow up? Will it work? Will it not work? I've got it on a spin cycle like it was before. Yowza. There you go. The job is a good one as they say. So that needs new brushes basically. You can hear those brushes going absolutely bananas. However, it does work. 